Okay, I think we are about ready. Um, it's, it's saying that the stream, like, is unstable. Kind of like yesterday. I'm gonna keep an eye on it. Just in case it crashes. But for now, we'll just continue like normal. You know what? Why don't I make a backup save? Just in case. Well, you know what? Let's make a backup save. I'm so glad this game lets me do that. There we go. We made a backup save. Just in case. You never know. Okay, so. It seems like we're about to go beat the final boss. We need to go to Undernet for the last battle. But there's probably going to be a few enemies that are exclusive there. We still need to do cleanup. Let's go to Undernet first. We will not fight the final boss. Not right now. We'll save that for last. But I am wondering how, uh, what enemies are there. We're going to spend the rest of the time doing cleanup. Okay. Alright, let's see what's going on in the internet. How much you want to bet Gutsman was always standing here? The entire time. But because you couldn't access this area because you couldn't get past the the guy that was right here. You couldn't see him. How much you want to bet the entire time he was just standing there? I bet you that's what happened. Enter the off, off code. Are you ready, Mega Man? Oh, excuse me? We could just battle Proto Man? Hell yeah! Okay, I am pretty sure that is not what he said. <laughs> he said, like, nothing. <laughs> you think you could challenge me to a net battle? Fine, but this battle will be on the level on a level you've never experienced before. I'll show you what happens when a mere civilian gets in over his head. Ha! Huh, you could talk the talk, but can you walk the walk? Mega Man, I want to fight you again. Or fight with you again. Proto Man, this is it. You ready? I guess. Here I come. So, Pro, mm, Pro Man can teleport. That's that's new to me. At least I think it is. Huh. Okay. So, we made it about halfway. It doesn't seem like we can slide underneath him. Oh, this sucks. This is not a good chip loadout. We're gonna fight him. We're gonna keep fighting him. It doesn't seem like we can slide underneath him. Oh no, you can. Whoa, okay. Didn't expect that. I almost feel like I need to slide, like, before he does anything. I'm running out of chips. Well, 
Well, not running out, but... I die because I couldn't use another chip. Uh, that's dumb. I th thought I did okay. No, you know what? We're not. Let's try under net. Because I, if I'm going to fight him, I want to be able to use whatever chips I want. <laughs> We're finally here. The Undernet. Do you sense anything, Mega Man? Yes, the Life Iris is definitely in here. No doubt about it. Let's go smash it. I want to know what enemies are here. Okay. Well, I can't get past him. Because I don't have any chips right now. Not without getting hit, anyway. So, that's how you get, like, aura chips, right? What do we get here? Recover 150. Okay. Is it just the scuttles that are here? Okay. I have to be able to destroy them. <laughs> Let's hope this works. This doesn't work. Well, that doesn't. Okay. Cold Punch does. I think it's technically water elemental. Yeah, it is. Dang, come on. That doesn't work. That doesn't work either. Well. Okay, we need elemental stuff. Okay. I can't make it farther. If all that's here is these scuttles, then what we could do is grab this chip. I don't care. I want to know what's at the very end. What did I just pick up? Life Aura 1. Okay. That tells me there's a Life Aura 2. Let's take a look probably down by that barrier. Okay. I don't know how we're supposed to get two or three. I really wonder if, like, this could be used against Proto Man. For now. Okay. So, life aura is an undernet. That's good to know. I do need to take down Proto Man. I'm thinking we'll go try that again. Proto Man is going to be needed to be taken down. I, I almost had him. 
Um, honestly, this is probably what I'd rather use. Try it again. I can't hit him. Well, I can't dodge him, I should say. Oh, good, it hit him. Fireman, come on. You got this. Well, that was close. How are you supposed to dodge him effectively? was that? Leave it alone, Proto-Man. The battle's over. <sighs> yes, sir. Chod, <laughs> it's frustrating, but I have to admit, your busting sense is superb. To overwhelm me like this. <laughs> I'm kind of embarrassed. Don't get cocky. You just got lucky this time. But I won't say anything more about you chasing the after the life virus. Do whatever you want. We did it. Alright, let's keep going. At this way at this rate, we can beat the life virus. Well that's done. We beat Proto Man. Um What do we got in here? Still gotta get Swordman's chip. Shadow Man, Pharaoh Man, and Proto Man got added in. Okay. I will have to get their chips, too. Um, so, for cleanup, I want to go to... No, not there. I remember there's, like, some blue mystery data I missed at the bank. Like, during that big laser section. So, let's check back there. Uh... Go with this, I guess. Now, I already went through some of this area, so it's the stuff that's happening later on. Of course, the lasers are still here. They're not going to go away. But I do know they they run out. After, they stop after a while, right? They have to stop, right? They stopped. Yeah, like, okay, no, seriously, like, what are you supposed to do? I mean, I have a bunch of lives to mess around with, but I want to know how you're supposed to get past some of this. I can't turn these off. Well, as far as I'm aware. I feel like that's what you're supposed to do there. I want to check that green mystery data. I want to know how to consistently get over there. I held down right as well, so that way I was a little bit farther along. Not worth it, but... Well, 
wasn't w really worth it, but... Yeah. Okay, this is gonna be the actual tricky part. Now let's get... Let's get one of these. I know I already went over, over there, so that's fine. Okay, near the end. I saw that. I saw that uh, unlocker. There has to be a way to get past it. Again, I'm gonna stock up on this long here. Might as well, right? I find this area very cheap, honestly. It's like, oh, let's take Quick Man's stage, but let's put hidden collectibles in the middle of it. Okay. You can just do the double jump, but you should probably, like, fall first instead of, like, actually jumping. But you can do it. Again, without a way to just be able to stop the lasers, how are you supposed to do this? Sonic wave, and I just lost, I just lost that. Again. Again, that was a green mystery data, so I didn't need to go after that. So, unless it's a different type of. At this point, I'm willing to try anything. To see if I can, like, take a hit from the lasers. I don't know what to do. Wait, why don't I have Invis? That's what you're su You're supposed to have Invis! Alright, hold on. You're supposed to have Invis here. Okay. And probably Invis 3. I don't know how long Invis lasts. But we can grind that out. Where's the problem? Oh, right on top of the gear. Okay. So we need Invis 3. I also want to grind out for, for like this chip. Alright, hold on. Where's Invis? For a short time, you are invisible and invulnerable. Okay, and I can even put it on my shortcut. Interesting. So I'm gonna definitely need to grind that out. Uh, I just remembered something. Let's swap out... Uh, I don't use spice that often. How many recover... Th I only have two recover 300s. Okay. Program, we gotta work, gotta work on program advances. So let's let's get rid of some of this stuff. 
for now. Okay, if I am going to grind for... In this, so let's go back here. Luckily, it's easy to make them spawn. I'm not worried about that. Okay. I think this is all I want right here. That's always good. Perfect. I think it's in the second part. Yeah, that's just a region, and I think that's Candle 3. Double jump is four. At least I'm getting money out by going through here. Okay, okay what do I get? Bombs? Re oh, yeah, repair was for something else. Um. If I want to get rid of... Okay, let's start with this. Yes, get to grind this out. I'm not sure how many I can carry. But I think we'll use up these bombs. One set of cannons. Let's start using up. Okay, first of all, fast gauge. I want to get a program advance going. way I get rid of some of the chips. Let's get rid of this last one and then I'll... That. There we go. Okay. We have two. High cannon and M cannon. We need the normal cannon now. Let's see... Probably just gonna let the the custom gauge fill up. Hopefully it'll just Okay, it's yeah, it is a different set of chips. Because I think all of these were different. 
That works. I think I can use these up. There we go. I use this up a set of chips. Really? Nothing? Still missing a cannon? Okay. Um. Try that. Let's use up the zero chip. Let's try to use that up first. There we go. There we go. I could spam these, but I, don't, I have 30 of them. There, there we go. Cannon. High cannon and M cannon. Program advance. How long did that lasts a while? Oh my god, that lasts a while. That's good. Wait a minute, the cannon's back, so it does use only one. Okay. It oh, so that's how pro I didn't realize that's how program advance works. After the life sword, I thought. It might have used all of them, but no, it only used one. But they go back in the folder. Good to know. What you could do is you could set something like that up on a boss, but before you go in, you use up basically all your chips. Okay, how many... How many invisibles do I have? Okay, I have... You can only hold five of these. That's fine. I wonder how long it actually lasts. I should still probably not spend too much time uh, waiting around, even with it. Okay. Let's see. That was cannon. This has to be one. I don't know if it requires all uh, all four or only three. Oh, we have enough can M cannons. Again, I am not sure if it requires all four, or if it's just these three. For now, though... See, we got Z-Cannon. Save that. Save all of our file, file one. Alright. Um, do I want to... To the bank now, or no? Let's see if we can use up one of the program advances. I'm going to global three because that top right area has like three green mystery data right there. Okay, we keep that. Try to use some of the sub. And here. That's kind of what I was hoping for. Was more fast gauge. Oh, I can restock. Muscle Blade, not bad. Okay. 
And what I get? Full cost. How much money do I have? Okay, let's actually head to Higsby. Oh, Fireman doesn't take much more, but I should let this fill up. Global three. Uh, yeah, let's see. Ah, uh, three of them. Let's bring those two. There we go. We use that up. Try to use this up while I can. Oh, really? Oh, that's lame. Alright. Back over here. Am I crashing? Am I just stuttering? It doesn't look like I've crashed. It's just stuttering a bit. We're fine for now, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aldernet, I know. Off to Higsby's. I have to take that one out with my dash. Oh, don't want to die here. all those up. What do we got? Still only three of them. So I want to use this. Yeah, I knew I was going to get it. Oh, did it go through the floor? Molly, you're okay. You're fine. Can we use this on another enemy? Uh, let's just use it up. Alright. Done with memory. Oh, he's from Pigsby. Ah, oh, I was so close. That is so close. Over here was the way to the... Yeah, it was the way to the old, uh, Pharaoh... It was Pharaoh Man. That's where it leads. Let's just use this up. Alright. I could have used Fast Gauge. Mega Man, more like normal men. Ha! <laughs> Got him. That was a good hot one, dog. We're doing a little bit of cleanup. Or, I should say, all the cleanup. So, I, I beat Proto Man. He's an optional fight you could do. I'm not sure how to effectively beat him without getting hit. <laughs> you know, without using stuff like Navi chips, and even then, I'm still gonna get hit. Okay. This should be... Really? This is not a... 
this is not a program advance? I'm shocked. I thought that would have been. All these games, I feel like you do well in Elden Ring. <laughs> With all the sliding I need to do. I mean, look at my... Kingdom Hearts 1, level 1, you know, that game was just dodge roll the game. So, if these are not program advances, okay, the bombs might. The bombs must be. So the anniversary of Marvel Strike Force stuff, and it hasn't gone well. Oh no, what'd they do? What did they do? Actually, you know, I want some of my normal stuff back. What did they do? So we bought some HP and memory upgrades. Let's, let's keep those. And let's go Back to the bank. So, I remember there was a bunch of mystery data that was in the second half with all that big laser area. Oh, I'm gonna probably want fast gauge. But I'm like, how are you supposed to get through, though, like, the laser area and get the items without getting hurt? Invis. I forgot about Invis. So I, sat, I, I maxed out on Invis 3, which didn't really take much. Really, Needle Man? There you go. You hit him. Good for you. Needle Man and rats don't mix well, I guess. I'm not gonna go for the money. Okay. Wait, did I put Invis in my... I should've. I should've put Invis in. If I didn't. Yeah, I did put Invis in here. See? There it is. They had to pull back an event for two hours because it was glitched. They moved another event back a day. Here, got a little rat, and here we are. Uh, they moved another event back a day. There was a deal in the game for about 40 minutes that gave way more items than what advertised, so people bought the deal many times. Or, wow, it's gonna be a clear gap in the coming day. Yeah, that is true. That's gonna suck. And the gift codes didn't work properly for everyone. How'd they mess all that up? Seriously. I don't even know how you even begin to mess up, mess up something like that. Okay. So I really need to get rid of some chips. I need to get access to Invis. And I don't want my other stuff getting in the way. that up at the very least. I 
I think fast gauge is still in effect. It should last for the entire time. Or did I forget to use I don't know. I'm pretty sure I used it. Come on. I want to start spamming shockwave. Start trying to get rid of this. How many of these can I use before my cooldown runs out? Ah, I can use the whole thing. That's nice. Still no in this. Alright, let's use up zero. Let's use these up. Uh, yeah, we'll let the cooldown meter, meter fill up all the way, and then we'll get rid of all the mini bombs. <laughs> Isn't it fun just waiting around for the right ship? That's really fun, isn't it? All the bombs need to go and get out of my inventory. Also, I could get access to this. There's Invis. Okay. Alright, I have no idea how long Invis is gonna last. How so I do need to be quick. However, I wanna wait for my meter to fill all the way up. That way if I need double jump, I have it. Alright. Alright. HP. Take it. Oh, that, that ended right. Oh, that was close. That cross gun. Oh, okay. So it was just the one unlocker? I think it was. Well, while I'm here then. Uh. Oh, right, right, right. We'll do that. Program advance. Oh, yeah. Four of those, okay. So, I got the unlocker, and I used it up. I think that's everything here. Other than the quake. Alright. Use that up. Okay, there's three in between. Something... Okay, I did something. Something's wrong. Makes me think it's shotgun, vegan... Three in between. Okay. I already know that it's not the bubble ones. That doesn't work. The three, neither the four work. However, what if it's shotgun 
and Heat Shot. Yeah, what if it's these three? It's weird, but I can't think of what else it could be. Alright, um... Set that up. I have money now. Let's go back to Higsby's shop. Back in global. Buy the HP memory. And after that, I don't know where to go. Okay. Let's use up my other stuff. Now let's grab green mystery data. More Zenny, that will help with Higsby. I'll probably end up having to use a fast gauge. Might as well. I just grabbed one. I can always come back through here and grab more for base food for free. Maybe not be guaranteed to get it, but... Let's use up my stuff. Three, two, one. One more. Alright. Let's use these up. Oh, right. There was something about using repair. Probably in Den Area 3. Probably to head back to the Fireman section. That is basically blocked off now. That's my gift. I'm guessing that's what that ink cone means. Let's check it out. up my chips. I least the these things one now. Maybe I could use up my needle mans. If not, shockwaves then. There we go. Use it up. I wanted the chip that I know I'm capped out on. <laughs> Back to Higsby's. So, uh, before you got here, I did take a little trip to the Undernet to find out what's in there. And we got Life Aura. One. Because uh, the Scuttleless enemies are in there. And I know there's going to be more Life Aura. That has to, that we have to get, but I need to, the right ship to load out. But that seems to be the only thing that's in there, at least from what I can tell. So now that I know that, I can kind of work around that. All Do we got? Okay. 
either that's not a program advance, or I did it in the wrong order. I could try shotgun, heat, and then bubble. Of course there's another HP memory to buy. Okay, hold on a minute. I'm just gonna pull up a list. Also, I, uh, probably to pull up a uh, list of where the other stuff, uh, the other chips I'm missing is. Yeah, looks like I need to come back with more money. Okay. I'm completely off. Let's leave. Completely off on some of this. First, here's one spreader, bubbles, bubbles, spread. Bubble spread <coughs> and heat spread. That's one. Did you hear about the? That emulator Yuzu being taken down by Nintendo and stuff like that. Okay. Oh, uh, I thought something like that was happening. Like happened a while ago. Or is this a new thing? Okay, I know I gotta do these three. I gotta do these three. Like, those were obvious to me. Okay. That's, oh yeah, only 14, like, program advances. Anyway. Uh, oh, there's Varsort. When did I get Varsort? Oh, that must have been for Proto Man. Okay. Start with this right now. Um, I'm gonna have to gather money. So, what chips am I missing? Kunai 3. I know there's that one enemy in World 3 area. I wonder if there's another spot. For now, let's key items. I don't. Uh... That's a complete list of all the chips, but that's not what I need. Oh, whatever. Uh, is that the only? So world three area two. I don't know what this is. Still don't know what that is either. What else am I missing? Spice 3, but I don't remember seeing the mushroom. Yo-Yo 3 is probably also in Starman area. I also don't know what this is belonging to either. Oh, I didn't get Candle 3? I got Candle 3. 3 and this is dropped down. Ugh. Of course, that's the Pro Man ship, that's the Sword Man ship, Pharaoh Man, Shadow Man, okay. I gotta use Program Vance's 
Let's start with going in here. So, did that emulator that got sued, did they actually use... Well, first of all, which, uh, for which, uh, console was it for? Which console was it supposed to be for? And two, did they use, like, actual code from Nintendo? Or did they make their own code? Because that's the, that's the loophole right there. Fire, duh. You have a fire shield, of course it's not gonna work. I'm getting decent money out of this, as far as I can tell. And I'd rather go through this area than the Pharaoh Man area. This is easier to navigate. Oh, I see how it is. Still don't have it. Go with that. And that's the only spot I've seen Rat 2. That is the only spot. Not taking that. You got it. The emulator emulated the switch. Oh, it was the switch. <laughs> <coughs> Play the switch games on consoles other than switch. Nintendo claims that it allows piracy, piracy and such, causing damage to the brand. They won the case. Let's be honest, it is a current console for them. Like, that's kind of hard to, like, justify. Oh, I got it. Uh, not justify, but, like, because it... Because it's emulating one of their current consoles, that's very difficult to probably win a case like that. If it was probably one or two consoles behind, then sure, you could probably get away with it. And also, again, did they use Switch code? Like, did they just kind of copy and paste their code? That's also another, another problem that they could have gone through. They just didn't create their own code. Because they could get him on that. Oh, there's the mushroom. Right, there's the level 3 mushroom. Oh, I can't back up. Without double jump, I really have to, like... I really only have one shot. Oh, okay, I could go this way, but I'm wasting. Okay. It says they are open source. Hmm. We 
got Spice 3. That's helpful. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure how... Like, I don't know why you would really attempt to... You know, try, try to make an emulator for one of their current consoles. Because I, I think that would actually potentially hurt their brand. If it was a console or two behind, then maybe you could get away with it. Emulation is a weird, uh, is a weird thing, isn't it? Like, I, I'm currently playing on Dolphin, right? But, for one, I think they could get away with you, uh, Nintendo, like, I don't think they have, like, a case because I think they use their own code. Like, they kind of backwards engineer it. They also have to shut down their 3DS emulator. Oh, which one is that? Is that Krita? Or Citra, I mean? Or is it a different one? But I think they reverse engineered it so they ended up using their own code and they could get away with that. As well as it's GameCube, like, there's no way to. They're not selling GameCubes anymore. You know? So it's not really hurting them anymore. Or it wouldn't be. So I think that's how you can get away with that. But when it's the Switch, and the Switch is currently on the market, like, you could go to a Walmart, you could go to a Target or Amazon and buy a new Switch. They're still making them. And I think that's where it comes from. Okay. Oh, they shut that down. Okay. Well, it's a good thing I did my, uh, ribbon challenge when I did, right? <laughs> What are what arguments do they have for Citra then? Granted, I don't I didn't really think Citra was like ready yet. Cause as we kinda saw it, like there were some issues when I was going through my Ribbon Challenge stuff for Gen 6. But it's like, it's close. I mean, it could also just be my computer. I don't know. So if I'm correct, the hint code says something about using repair. Oh, somewhere over here-ish. Let me, let me read that code. The last place you first went to here, went to repair from high up. No? The last place you first went to repair from high up. I might just have to look up what that meant. Nothing. Nintendo didn't do it because it emulated their console. At least that was on the case. They only did it on the basis it allows piracy. The devs of the user are against piracy, but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, um... I don't know, that's... Oh, that's how it works. That's one of those things where I'm not sure... It, it's like... I, I'm not sure about that, honestly. 
the emulator is one thing. Where you get the games is, is the other story, you know? Oh, was I supposed to go here? Okay, well, uh... <laughs> I, I don't think I was supposed to be doing that. Still need to do the program advance. Because like, when it comes to- the emulator is just a way to play some of these ROMs. How you get the ROMs is the other story. Variant is due to- that's one solder game again. Oh, Tears of the Kingdom being leaked and Pirates found Fios 3 that allowed them to play it earlier. All oh, right. I mean, I get it. But again, I think it just comes down to like, is it a current so is it a current console? You know? Again, it's a matter of how do you get those ROMs? You know? That's really how it goes down to. Like, when it comes to this game, like, I bought the... I have a physical copy. You saw it. Well, I showed it earlier, but I'll grab it again just to show proof that I have this thing. This is the thing. I... <laughs> oh, oops. So... See, I have the game. It's right here. It is a physical copy that I paid for. However, apparently, for whatever reason, I had a little bit of issues trying to copy it myself on the Wii. It's the only GameCube game, for whatever reason, that I had a problem with. But after that, I found it online. But, like, the best this is the best I could do. Like, I have the physical cart. I have, I have the physical game. It's, it's right here. But because I couldn't copy it myself for whatever reason, then I got it online. But, like, that's... Yeah. I won't get rid of... I won't get rid of it. It's kind of too late. That's already on the internet. It's mostly against the dev team. Right, exactly. Once it's on the internet, it never goes away. It's like uh, another Metroid 2 remake. I mean... Because Nintendo shut that down, but it's uh, it's somewhere on the internet you can find it. Yeah, let's try to use a needle man. I'm trying to get a program advance going. requires me to get rid of chips. Now, is Bodyguard in the game? <laughs> the best program of Vance as we've seen. For me, it's about, like, do you own the game? Can you... Uh, can you physically show that you have the game? Yes? Then do what you want. Yeah. If you can dump the game yourself, do that. If not, then, well... Only the game yourself is the best you could do. Okay. Spreader? It's bubble spread, then heat spread. Alright. Do that. There you go. It's like 300 damage. Uh, 
I, I want to look up what the what uh, the one that's after flame arm or fire arm. I have a list here. It's not telling me what it is. What well, it'll tell me what the chip is, just not where to get it. Oh, okay. I know what it is. Um. the right idea, but wrong area. Okay, hold on. First, let's grab Fire Sword, Aqua Sword, Elect Sword. And let's grab Repair and throw that. Throw that. Oh, not, not Global. I think that people mostly fear that Nintendo will try to attack other emulators for older consoles. If they took down both the Switch and 3DS in one fell swoop. That's what to say. Yeah, I, I I can see the fear. I can see why. Again, to me, them going after the Switch emulator, especially right now, I think that makes sense. You know, it's their current stuff. The 3DS one... I mean, they're not selling 3DSs anymore. You're not, they're not selling 3DS games. So do you think it would be okay? That's why I was kind of saying, like, a console or two behind, you know? Okay, first, let's... Let's use up some of this stuff. So it said something about being over here. Yeah. Oh, that's not what I meant. Apparently it's Den Area 1. First of all, I want to use this up. I didn't... Fine. Whatever, game. As long as I don't accidentally just use up repair. I tried jumping. But yeah, when it comes to older emulators like GameCube, I think it's really about, did you straight up use the same code? And is it like the current console? Like, it, I think they could shut down Dolphin if it's one-to-one -one the same GameCube code. So, Sony said that the PS5 has hit his peak and it might work on the PS5. Really? Uh, well, and not only that, not only do they only have like two exclusives. Uh, not only do they only have two exclusives, some of them were moved to Steam. So they're not true, uh, true exclusives anymore. Two. Oh, uh, I have that. I have this. Perfect. First of all, let's use that. There we go. 300 damage. What the? 
Okay. Uh... Okay. Wait a minute. So is that supposed to be one of the... Wait. That looked like one of the error codes. But... It's not used for this game, isn't it? They're used at Battle Network 3. They're for the Navi customizer codes. That's how you're supposed to get some of these codes. I knew some of them were available in, like, f like from the anime or from, like, magazines or something. Apparently, some of the codes are in this game. Okay. Didn't know that. Alright. Alright. They all require repair. All of them require repair. And apparently I'm missing another one, but apparently that's found in Undernet, which I haven't really fully explored. Area with roll. Repair on continuous spikes area. That from someone who's a big name right now. Heard no hype about Demon Souls for PS5. Yeah, uh, honestly, after that game came out, it just kind of. I didn't really hear anything about it. I mean, it's nice that it got a remake. And from what I understand, it is a good remake, but I think people just kind of were like, oh, that's great. Anyway. Okay, let's get uh, Fireblade. Get Life Sword 3 going. So we need to go to Den Area 2. Again, like, Mega Man was doing a lot of these, like, oh, if you, if you want to find out where to get this code, you have to be playing this game. You want to figure out how to get this code? You need to play this game over here. It's like, thanks. Probably too much hype for Demon Shark. Yeah, you know what? That's probably what happened. When did Elden Ring come out in comparison to the Demon Souls remake? Because that probably did it. That was probably the cause. Slide under the first spike platform and double jump through this system. Find the biggest one with three columns. <laughs> what was the code? Like, what did it say? Here on continuous spikes area. That's... Some of these descriptions are kind of dumb. see the double jump. Let's use up some of these. There we go. Demon Souls came out in 2020, then Elden Ring came out in 2022. Um, well, it was probably announced, but that still wouldn't have eaten up any sort of publicity. Um, was there another Souls-like game that came out close to that? I think people just didn't really care for Demon Souls. 
Because I never hear anyone talk about Demon Souls. Like, even before the remake. I always hear people talk about Dark Souls. And they were both on the PlayStation 3. Right? Or was Demon Souls PS2? Either way, I never hear people talk about Demon Souls. Original or remake. No double jump yet. Use up some of this stuff. I need double jump, so it's not a big deal. And I can only have one item on the shortcuts. Has anyone tried to do, like, emulators for PlayStation 5 and Xbox? Or do people not bother because most of the games are on Steam? Because I, I wonder if people did try to make a PS5 or a Xbox emulator. I, I wonder if they would do the same thing and try to shut down those emulators for similar reasons. But maybe because their games are on Steam, maybe people don't care. There was Sekiro that came out in 2019. I also didn't hear much hype about that one. Ah. Wait, I thought I heard about Sekiro a little bit. So I didn't hear that one. Oh no! Uh, I think I'm getting Sekiro confused with uh, Ghost of Shish uh, Tsushima. I hear that one all the time. I hear about Ghost of Sh Tsushima all the time, or at least for a little while. Sekiro, I think I just got it confused all the uh, with Ghost of Tsushima. I, wasn't Ghost of Tsushima, like, around the same time Sekiro came out? Mm -hmm. Did they come out around the same time? That might also be part of the problem. I'm also, like, don't keep track of any of those types of games anyway, so... I don't need to break the wall to get back in here. Come on, I need double jump. This is an annoying part. Like, I could have one of them on a shortcut, but the other one I have to kind of wait it out. There's double jump. And we got two of the swords. So on this one, 2020, they still feel like, oh, you know what? Demon Souls and Ghost of Tsushima came out the same year. I wonder if Go Ghost of Tsushima, sh uh, I wonder if that game took, uh, took away from Demon Souls. And that's how you're supposed to get that code. Huh. Yeah, more Battle Network 3 codes. That's so weird. Okay, I need the, the other program advance. Still don't have it yet. Gotta use up some chips.
Yeah, when did Ghost of Tsushima come out in comparison to Demon Souls? I know they both came out in the same year, but what months? Because I wonder if the uh, if they were close enough. I hear people talk about ghosts more than Demon Souls. Not so much anymore, but I think at the time that I remember hearing people talk about that one more. There it is. Okay, program advance, 400 damage. And now we can leave. I was still technically in the attack animation, so I couldn't leave. July and November, huh. That's a far enough difference to where you think they wouldn't hurt each other. But aren't those games like, don't they last a while? You know, like, aren't they pretty big games? Some people could have, like, bought Ghosts, like, sometime in October and still be playing it, so they probably thought, eh, I don't need Demon Souls. Or, you know, it gets to Christmas, and it's like, huh, you know, I could get one of them. They're both kind of similar. Which one do I pick? I don't know. I'm just kind of throwing out ideas here. All right, let's see. I took care of that. What other program advances are there? Uh, rat 2 and Rat 3. And then there's also Double Needle. Triple Needle. And I'll take this out. Fun needle. Let's start with that. Okay. So this one is the quake one. That's normally for crit quake, I believe. We can either go to the bank, which I can't respawn the guy. The second one is... Because there were two of them. I think it was in the Pharaoh Man area. Honestly, I think it would be faster to go through the bank. Oh, I didn't. Well, we're gonna use them up. Let's use those up. to the end. I don't even remember what that is. Alright. I think I already have enough fire blade, so I don't need to go that way. Yeah, the stupid lasers. Ah, dang it. I messed that up. And I don't want to throw in in this. Oh, I got... I got some of the program advance ready to go. Let's 
try this again. And all the way to the right. There we go. I think we got it. I don't think Demon Souls would have the power to pull people to get a PS5 compared to something like that for Spider-Man. Yeah, that is true. Imagine if it was one of those two. It would have sold, like, immediately. Granted, didn't both of those games get, like, mixed reviews? Because it was God of War Ragnarok, right? That was the PS5 exclusive that people were waiting for. Two, three, four. And we'll grab zero to use that up. Let's use a fast gauge. Power after FF7 Rebirth, the classic collection. Went from sixth place to pre order second place. The classic collection? Like Final Fantasy VII? Like the original? God of War did amazing. Spider Man did alright. It's kind of a goofy game. People thought it was fine. Demon Souls Avage. Star Wars Battlefront. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, you're saying other than Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, the Star Wars Battlefront pr classic to jump to second place. Okay. I see. I see. Rats 1, 2, and 3. Program Advance. And you could just keep throwing rats. Isn't that nice? Alright. I mean, that Battlefront game is gonna have online pe uh, online multiplayer, so yeah, it's gonna do well. That's gonna do really well. After Life Sword 3. Okay, first we need. Where are my punches? Oh, that okay, gut punch. And I think I need to get dash attack again. Oh, there's foot stomp. That's that's cruel. <laughs> uh, I need dash attack. There you are. And then is there another one I could do? Uh, okay. Sonic Blade Gravity Hold. Straight arrow. Well, there's straight arrow. Arrow. Gravity Hold. And not Thunderbeam. Sonic Blade. That's the That's the Swordman one, I believe. No, not none of these. Sonic Blade. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's just throw one of these and Alright. What is another chip I'm missing? How do I get that then? People hope the classical can make higher. 
make battlefront make a third battlefront report. no crossplay for oh no crossplay that's kind of sucks so pick the game where everyone's gonna be playing at most likely steam it's always steam oh the slot machine right 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 so like anything exclusive there okay the slot machine like you get a lot of uh, options. Huh, okay. So, you can get a lot of chips through the slot machine. However, there's still some you can't get. One of them would be this one. How am I supposed to find it? Um, yeah, there's a lot. Oh, is it in the undernet? Is that where it is? Is that the only way to get it? I just randomly saw it there. Dang it. Okay, that might be Undernet. What else am I missing? Yo-Yo 3. I think that one is... Maybe... It's either an Undernet or in Starman's map. Let's check this one. This might be better. Well, that's not telling me locations. That's the annoying part about some of these, like, websites. It's just like, oh, here's all... Oh, no! Okay, hammer. This is not... Uh, what I think it is. It's the it's the guy that, thro that throws the wrecking ball at you. I think we have a good shot at a Lechman stage. Power plant. Okay. So, Yo-Yo 3, but... It's not going to tell me where the best spot to get it is. That's the annoying part. Oh! Um, I thought I would have gotten this one then. I thought I got a drop from them. From the Sniper Joes. Wait, I thought I got that one too. Wait. How come I don't have some of these? Oh, the aura chips. These are all the aura chips. The fire aura, aqua aura. Ugh. That's... That, this is gonna be annoying. I think we need to go to zero era, area for a lot of them. Okay. Still not the best... Okay, well, let's go to a Lechman area. I think that's... No, that's here. I did not mean to hit waterworks. I don't need to go through the waterworks. Well, we might as well get a program advance done while we're here. use these. Uh, let's get a fast ship going. A fast gauge. Okay. Use those up. Now, I don't need to be here. Um, not that I'm aware of. I can't think of a reason I need to be here. Let's use a fireman. There was some controversy. It was kind of stuck over by the hype. I was addressed, but no one looked at it. What was the controversy? Gravity 
think I'll just wait over here. Slasher Needle Man. I just need Gravity Hold, so... Oh, wait, no, no, no. Don't waste that. And don't waste Cold Punch. Time to wait it out. What was the reception of the other Battlefront games, the more modern ones? I think I remember like people not liking them for the like the whole like loot box micro microtransaction stuff. Um, why do I still have repair in here? Oh, I needed to use one more. Um, On the trailer, it seemed like the collection was using a mod for its graphics in some scenes. So, about 200 people cared, and eventually, Esper did talk about it and said that they didn't check the trailer properly, and some of the earlier test builds for the collection was in the trailer. They aren't using the mod for the final product. Oh, okay. Annoying as trying to get program advances in normal battle network. Okay. Sonic Blade. Gravity Hold. Straight Arrow. Oh, okay. Meteor. So I can use PK Star Storm now. Perfect. Alright. I can use... Uh, oh, wait, here it is. Gut Punch, Cold Punch, Dash. Okay. So, a punch three times, got it. So, the first... It's so disappointing that you can play as the characters in the movies. Oh, okay. But wasn't there still like a loot box or microtransaction thing going on there? Okay. Um, okay, let's get rid of these. 
I need guard. Where is it? Just normal guard. And we need guts man. Probably there. Work on those two. Now let's go back to the power plant because that's what I wanted to do in the first place. Wait, I, now that I'm thinking about it, didn't the new Battle Network 2, or not Battle Network, uh, Battlefront 2, like, get a lot, get in a lot of trouble, and Disney had to, like, uh, do something about it? I think, I think I'm remembering, like, that con controversy. Like, there was something there. First of all, let's get a fast, fast gauge going. I need to get more. Actually, maybe Gravity Man is the spot that I'm thinking of. You know what? I probably need to go to Gravity Man. Yeah, the newer Battlefronts. That's what I meant. Uh, uh, the EA Battlefronts, I think, is uh, the better way to call them. Was it well received after once? People were hyped, but well, once it came out, it wasn't good. No story, no galactic conquest, and more game ends with it. There, yep, there it is, yep. Oh, okay, so it's guard, dash attack, gutsman. Got program advance. Okay, that's funny. That is funny. He just picks up Mega Man off by the foot and then chucks him at your enemy. That's funny. The loot box and games were also hated a lot, which was probably the major turnoff for most players. Yeah, and I think I remember Disney like had to like say something about it. Like, I remember like I remember that happened. That was a thing. I'm pretty sure I went up there already. Let's try to use up my cold punches. So yeah, I've, now that I'm thinking about it, I probably need to go to Gravity Man stage. That's, I think, where all the hammer guys are located. Okay. Uh, it is... Repair, recover, roll. There's a scandal I think a lawsuit happened to in which playing these games were basically casinos that get painted over it. Yeah, that's right! And it was like also like because it was also targeted towards kids. Yeah, I'm now remembering. 
You know what? I didn't actually fully go all the way up here. I ran I ran out of uh, double jumps. Let's double check this area. But yeah, did did the EA Battlefront 2 have like these same problems as because you said the first one was it just wasn't good, no story, no galactic conquest. Right, and a lot of game modes. What was the problems with Battlefront 2? Just the microtransaction loot box stuff? Was that the only problem? Data. Focus. We had to rework the loot box for the first game. Okay, yeah, there was really nothing over here. Yeah, I got I got my maps confused with Gravity Man. But yeah, what happened with the second game? Two more. Oh, I can't I can't do this one. But I can do this one. Okay. Let's get rid of this. I need Z Saber. I guess we'll do that. And guard. where's high guard? I don't have high guard. That's one of the ones I need. Okay. Never mind. So the last two I cannot do at the moment. I need to put my folder back to where I wanted it. Hold on. Second dice game came out and it was slightly better, but not liked either. Yeah, I remember. The story was there. It was advertised you play as the bad guys. I remember that. You play as the bad guys for two missions, and then your character switches. <laughs> the bad guys are in the game. See, like you can play as them. They're here. That's so dumb. Lacking more game modes than the first game. Really? That's so dumb. Like, they couldn't even copy and paste. Like, some of their game modes over. No changes, just... You know. That's so dumb. I think I could get rid of repair now. Swap it out with. I need some sort of electric move. Oh no, I already have an electric move. Um. I need satellite too, sir. Okay. Uh, I still want to swap that out with something. Sure. Throw that back in. Alright, let me let me look through my folder very quick. Right, right, right. I don't need I don't need these two anymore. Loot boxes were fixed for the second game. Instead of loot box, now you unlock characters. I to play ungodly map powers. Hmm. It's like, you could play 20 hours to unlock, you know, Jar Jar, 
and that's the first character you unlock. Or you could pay five bucks for it to just unlock it now. Wouldn't you want to do that? That would be so much easier, wouldn't it? Right? But I, I don't know if they did that, but still, like, it kind of feels like they do something like that. Shockwave. There we go. Kind of put my folder more or less back to normal. Actually, let's make a save. Now let's go to Gravity Man stage. I think that's where I want to go. For two. Got its no man sky moment and it was like by the community. Oh, okay. So there's no issues with the current Battlefront 2. Like, no issues whatsoever. Now we're going to check Gravity Man stage. That's where I want to go. But I'm also going to check these green mystery data. Maybe I could get some fast gauges again. There we go. Again, can't do the last two program advances. Here's a fast gauge. Just as the game was getting good, they pulled the plug on the game saying no more updates. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Whatever, then. Oh, wait, no. Not here. Although, I do think I need to go through here and get Yo-Yo 3. I still need to get more money. So I can go to Higsby's and buy my HP. Gravity Man. I guess you can't make that jump if, if you missed it. That's the enemy I need to take down. There hasn't been any news or teasers of anything about the platform. In fact, it seemed like EA and Disney Star Wars was interesting. Yeah, um, it, it's not Maybe I think, if I were to take a wild guess, I think Disney wanted to try to get away of the bad PR that was happening around those two games. Because both of them had bad PR. So I'm wondering if that was mainly the reason, but they still wanted to make new battle, battle stuff. Hey, Juice, how's this going? 
Uh, we're doing base. We're trying to do cleanup right now. I'm assuming you played this game before, Goose, right? Just got off work. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I'm trying to do some cleanup. Uh, I'm trying to get. Rented it once, never beat it. Yeah, before this, I borrowed it from a friend, and I stopped when I either got to or beat Swordman. I don't remember if I actually got past him or not. Okay, that was just as I knew. Let's see if we can respawn him. No? I can't respawn him? Dang it. Now we go with something like that. There we go. We'll assume that the class of collection is mostly just a test for Disney to see if there's any of all interest. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking it was they were trying to do. It's, again, again, especially since they had bad PR for both the other ones. Dang it. Supposedly I could get it in, uh... Under net. Hmm. Sure. There's the zero stuff. And again, Juice, it's not like you're missing much. This game's non canon anyway. And how do you know it's non canon? Pharaoh Man and Shadow Man come back? Mega Man has no luck. Uh, Recollection of them. No, zero, zero virus is not the final boss. I already fought him. You think he's the final boss, though? Good stomp. But no, then there's this secret enemy that you've never met before that worked with L Wily, and. Okay, so we got the hammer. That's good. Uh, all right, let's leave and we'll go get. We'll see if we can find Yo-Yo Three. Uh, I know some secret guy that worked with Wily, like is the final boss, and he some he resurrected the the, the life virus from the first game. Cause why not? <laughs> We gotta recreate Battle Network 1's final boss. It's so unoriginal. It, he has the exact same plan. Yeah, well, the life virus was in the opening cinematic. But that was just like, oh, this is what Mega Man did in Battle Network 1. And then it's a month after the events of Battle Network 1. So it's... But, like, you just assumed the only reason that Cinemac was there is just so... Uh, they show you, hey, this is after Battle Network 1. But no, they really... They made that model and be like, wait a minute. We made this, uh, we made this model. Why don't we just, you know, reuse it as a final boss, you know? <laughs> But no, like, the villain's plan is to use the life virus to launch nukes all around the world. That's the exact same plan that Wily was using in Battle Network 1. It, it's so unoriginal. Like, that's what I find lame. We had Zero as a final boss. Or as what we thought was a final boss. Oh, can we... Can we please... Be 
be able to break this shield. Oh, of course. I need to, like, I need to fire. But at least this game has a bunch of navvies that are exclusive here. That's Yo-Yo 2. Too bad I missed out on that. Okay. Yeah, we'll grab it. <coughs> but yeah, no, uh, Zero is a virus that gains sentience. And apparently he was created by Wily. But that gets resolved, like, so... Like, uneventfully. <laughs> like, before going in, going to fight Zero, I found this uh, mystery, like, data that's not used for anything, right? And Lan's like, I'm gonna give it to Dad. Maybe he'll figure it out, what it's used for. And so he does that. And I beat Zero, and then... Dad calls on the phone, and he's like, oh, this is, like, Zero's data. We can make him not produce the Zero virus and actually make him, like, a Navi. Like, a good Navi. Be like, oh, wow. That, that, that's so, like, uneventful. So, uh, yesterday, Juice, you were playing uh, a little bit of Diamond uh, Diamond Pearl Remix. How far did you get? That's Yo-Yo 1. That's not what I need to fight. That's got to be it. Okay. No, I only got Zenny out of that. But I think that's the yo-yo. I need to fight. Oh, come on. Of course, you know, they put the yo-yo guys above spikes. Just so if you really want that chip... You have to risk your life. Nope, don't need that. Again, I'm assuming that's the right one. Yeah, that, that seems to be the right one. Again, unless they're, unless it's an undernet. Honestly, Bubbler is not that bad to use here. If not Bubbler, then like Heat Shot works too. Dang it. I wonder if that can reach. I wonder if some of this can reach. And if it can... Maybe. That might work. Let's try it. Get down here. 
and... Totally worth it. Let's see. Uh, yep, there's Yo-Yo 3. That's an annoying place to grind for one, by the way. Alright. We need to fight in more Sniper Joes, which... We could go back to the bank for those. Candle 3 is in the World 3 area, I think. At least I think so. I should double check that. Uh, oh, right. We need to go find Rush. Again. We needed. Apparently, Rush didn't get me the pop up chip. I thought it would have, but I guess not. That's so weird. Let's make a save. How much money do I have? Not enough. Not enough to buy my HP memory. Um. Let's go through here, and maybe we can get Candle 3, assuming Candle 3 is here. Well, if we're getting Candle 3, it's going to be through, through Zero Chip, and we get some extra money by going through here. Like, this isn't a bad spot. That's also, that's also the other reason why I'm going through here. I think we got it. Double check. There it is, candle three. That's nice. All right. We're still gonna go through the rest of this area to gather money, or at least this first area, because there's a lot of like, yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. Yeah, we'll at least go through the first area. That has quick money. Easy gold zen. And then this area too. And then we'll leave and we'll go to Pharaoh Man section. How much money do I have? Not enough. Alright. Wait, do I want to go to Pharaoh Man section? No, no, you know what? Let's go fight Sniper Joes. And I think. We are better off going through the bank? I'm trying to think of where Sniper Joes are located. I think they're I think they're just in the bank. Like that's the best spot for them. That's the only spot I could think of where Sniper Joes are. Probably that. Okay. I'm hoping to invis and then see Saber it. Because there's one down here. Is that it? What I need? Let's see. Nope. Apparently, I didn't get it. What does he drop? Like, I, I don't know what else he drops. 
but I need to get the chip from him. You know what? I'm just gonna die to the laser. Might as well grab this while I'm here. Sonic Wave. This might work too. Let's try this. Check the folder or else I lose everything. I'm 24. No, don't have it. It's not that. So I'm looking for 125 chips. Is that it? Yeah, I think I got it now. Double check. There we go. There's High Guard. There we go. Hi, Molly. What? What? You just. Are you just wanting attention? Are you just a needy dog? Yes. Alright, so we got High Guard. Oh, do you need to go outside? Hold on. Okay. Which one do I got? Alright, now that I got that chip, I'm gonna throw that in because that leads to a program advance. Yeah, Molly's, I think, wanting outside. So let me go throw this chip in. Then I'll go let her out. I still have no clue what chip I was getting from him. Uh, let's get rid of spice, I guess. Um, and then what I think we'll do is we'll take another run through Wily uh, World 3 area. We'll take another run through there for extra money and get the program advance. Uh, we'll do that. Anyway, be right back.
All right, I think we're back. Uh, there's my control. All right. We'll go through here, gather some money. Get a program in advance. Then... Hmm. Gonna need to go through zero area soon. There's two out of three. I think that's actually enough to go to Higsby's and buy the last, uh, sorry, buy the last uh, uh, HP memory from him. At least I'm assuming it's the last one. I should have done that. Oh well, it's all good. Let's go to Global 3. I want to... I want to check the green mystery data. There's always something there. Probably fast gauges. Speaking of fast gauges, I should use one. Okay. Use up the fast gauge. There we go. It's kind of weird that fast gauge is a sub chip. You know? That feels too weird. Okay, we'll take it. And we get full Higsby shop, and then we're going to Pharaoh uh, area. That's where we're gonna find the Rush mini game. Oh yeah, Juice. I don't know if you're listening right now, but did you know that apparently, like, a couple of the. Battle Network 3, like, error codes for the Navi Customizer are actually in this game. That's how you're supposed to find out how to get three, uh, two or three of the codes. They're from this game. the thing like it gave you an error code but I couldn't tell you like which one it was for 
There we go. We got all of our HP memories out of Higsby. So, I think there's three more HP memories somewhere. And when it comes to MP, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. What? What? You want attention? Okay. Come here. Come here. You just want attention right now. Being very needy, dog? Yes. Hi. Yeah, I know. You wanted to say hi. You just want to say hi. And beg for attention. That's why you're here. Yeah, I know. You just want attention. You're fine. You're fine, Molly. Is this not good enough for you? Is, is the pets not good enough for you? It's like the... Like the... Uh, uh, like every stream, Molly just needs a lot of attention. She just wants to be like, hey, give me attention. I have to give her attention. It's the, it's the attention tax, pretty much. All right, Molly? Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, you done now? Come on. Here you go. Boom. There you go. Well, go get it. <laughs> You're the one that dropped it. Go get it. Yeah. All right, so there's, like, a couple more HP upgrades somewhere. I'm not sure where. Let's go find the rush in the game. Guard Z Saber Zero. Might as well just have the ship ready to go. Alright. 300 damage. Feels like Battle Network 1 here, you know, where like the most damage you could do in a single hit is 300, and there's like no multi hit. Although this game does have like some multi hit moves, that's not much damage. I still don't know what I'm getting at. Okay. Interesting. So Z Zero does his three sword slash like normal, but then Mega Man does like a full buster charge. Does it hit 300 damage per hit? That's something I feel like I need to use on Proto Man. Because we're gonna have we're gonna have to go Navi hunting. We need to go Navi hunting, I need to get the auras. Time to play Whack-A-Mole. Wait, that's a different colored rush. So 
a lot faster, too. Oh, I messed it up. Okay. Um... Okay, let's head back there. I think I might need to leave the area then come back. Yeah, that was a different colored rush. I wonder if that's what I need to do to get uh, the rush chip. Or drop, not drop down, uh, pop up. Let's try it again. Wrong time to have a itchy nose right now. <laughs> He's slowing down. Must be getting must be getting close. Tell me this is just uh, see how many combos you can get. to end at some point, right? It needs to end and give me a chip, right? Kind of wish there was a way to know how much my chain is going. Or is this one of those ones where I need to, like, hit him a hundred times in a row? I don't know. Like, it feels like I'm not doing anything. And nothing's happening. Okay, hold on. I can just pause it. Does he just have a lot of HP? Oh. Okay. He has like 200 HP, and each buster does like one damage, so... Keep it going. As far as I'm aware, keep this going. I mean, they took the rush, you know, from Battle Network 1 and be like, oh, it's a Mega Buster minigame thing. But it's just like, well, I can't see his HP now, and I don't know how far I am. I'm reading he has 200 HP, but I could be wrong. Okay. 
maybe I can deal more damage by using something like this. I think I just need to keep this going. him once. Again, I'm assuming it's just a single point in damage. As far as I know, I can't see his health bar. Okay, seriously, like, this is ridiculous. If it truly is, like, 200 HP, this is lasting way too long. Because honestly, if I didn't look this up, I probably would have just given up by now. I mean, like, I feel like nothing's happening. I'm tempted to look it up again. Maybe I read it wrong. I don't know. Seriously, like... You have to hit the pink dog 200 times in a row before it dies. Oh, it's just one of those things where you just keep going. It's not supposed to end. The problem was I wasn't keeping count, so I have no idea where I'm at. I have no idea where I'm at right now. Okay, no, he can die. Never mind. Was it worth it? Well, we got it. Okay, so he does have a 200 health bar. Honestly, if I didn't look it up, I would have just assumed I'm doing it wrong or it's just get a high score, you know? Okay. Well, we got that done. That's... Honestly, that should have been less health. Like, 50 would have been fine. And make it maybe a little bit more obvious that you're actually doing something. <laughs> I don't know, like, that that was just poorly designed. Because I would have, honestly, if I didn't look it up, I would have given up at that after a certain point. Thinking, oh, it's just hit him as many times as you want and then leave and then he gives you a prize. Um, okay. We need the aura chips. I think what I want to do... I also need to go to Undernet, apparently. There's probably stuff in Undernet that I'm missing. Hold on, so let's, let's put Bubbler on the shortcuts. But I also need to go to Zero Area. Hey, okay. uh, you're fine. Okay. Let's grab that. Get out of here. It's fine, I don't care. We're going to zero er zero area. And we are we are going to take care of the the aura enemies. And I think all of them are there. Good enough fast gauge. But I do need elemental stuff. More fast 
fast gauge. Good. I'm liking this so far. Let's get a fast gauge going. I don't need to go there. Let's see. Water, grass, some fire. I just need electricity somewhere. So, I only need 10 more chips. Yep, I got Aqua Aura. I think I lucked out there. Okay, now we need Fire Aura. I actually don't need the electricity, but that's fine. Grab that just in case. Okay, that's actually kind of expected. Because the enemy was on screen for a while. Oh, get back down here. Get down here. Uh, I should have just gone for it. Actually, I wonder, can I head back and deal with the fire one again? No, I would need double jump. Could go this way and deal with grass again. Okay, we got that. I hope there's another fire one soon. If there isn't, I'm gonna have to go back. I think zero count only has one area. There's only one aura each. Okay, there's gotta be a way to get him to respawn. Probably all the way back here. You know what? I wonder if Needle Cannon would be better. Yeah, it, I would. Ha he would have to be lined up, but... Getting hit too much. Yeah, I think we got it. All right. Fire aura. We need to go back in there. Luckily, I already have the bubble on the shortcut. So hopefully, if I make it quick, I can get through there in time. We'll do this. And you know what? Let's. Actually, I don't think I need a fast gauge. Because I, I think I really only got, like, one attempt at that guy. Well, I have double jump. I might actually be able to have more attempts. We'll see. Okay. Uh, 
cuts. And we get another full pass. I was kind of hoping for uh, another fast gauge. How come I can't do this now? There we go. another one. Okay. get this, then I'm gonna have to leave and go back in. That should be it. Wait, 130. Hold on. Did I not get it? No, I, no, I got it. Okay. Seven more chips. Double check. Okay. Let's go through Undernet a little bit. Take a glance through Undernet. You know what? I should buy a couple, um, like one or two more unlockers. I have a feeling I'm gonna need it. I already have one. Uh, yeah. You know what? We'll be fine. One more program advance. Which I can't. I mean, I could try to grind for the chip, but I don't have it yet. Alright. Probably go with something like that for now. Alright, let's check the green mystery data first. And then we'll go to Undernet. I do find it interesting that the game so far has not let me refight Zero. Like, we fought him the one time, and that's it. He doesn't even appear on the, the rematches. Is it because he wasn't a Navi? He was a virus? Is that the expl explanation? Alright, nothing. All right, we're going to Undernet. Here a little bit more. 
So, I did get Life Aura already. So that's not what I need. bomb more of these sure. Come on. again it's just life aura you don't get anything else I'm gonna need a fire chip for you. Yeah, you need to come in here with, like, the three elements to break past these shields. Oh, wait. Don't they just resist a certain amount of damage? Like, won't it break after a while? No, I think you still need the element. Fire. I no fire stuff right now. That's annoying. Um, we can use Invis. Get awesome. And I... And I bet... I bet he gives life orbs too. that. I want that. I don't have any electricity at the moment, so we'll leave it at that. And we get a memory up. Okay. Okay, that's just me. How am I supposed to know that that was going to be a bottomless pit? That's dumb. How was I supposed to know that? Like, that's not fun. Oh, come on. Uh, a lek armor? Yeah, I already have a lek armor equipped. I don't have to kill these guys. They're just kind of in, in the way. I can't get past this guy. Not without a fire chip. Or an in invis. Again, how was I supposed to know that that was a bottomless pit? And you know, if there's no fire, then you can't get past him. Oh, wait, now I broke the shield? Another HP. Doesn't it just block a certain amount of damage altogether? Makes you think it's an element. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Don't 
Alright. I think it's time to use zero. I hope it works. Well, I got past him. Okay, it is life aura. Good thing I came with unlockers. Gold fist. I mean, I don't really need it. Cyber World Warp is up ahead. So if we keep going, we won't be able to go home until we defeat it. Okay, so good to know. Like, that's the point of no return. Hammer, and I need to come back with. I need to come back for that. So, no, not that. I need to come back with another unlocker. We have maxed out HP. I don't know if I maxed out MP. I'm assuming that 256. That sounds like it would be the max. So, I need Life Aura 2, and I'm assuming I need to beat that second Life Virus. Not, uh, the one that's the Light Beam, which means I would need to have Zero ready to go. Um, we could grind for that, and then we got well, all this right here. I'm gonna make sure that's actually the case. Might as well make a save, because why not? Transmission. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Never mind. I think we it can drop two different things. It seems like. Okay. Well then. If it's a hundred damage, then. M cannons work. I think M cannons would work. Huh. Because Life Aura just blocks anything below a certain amount of damage. So that's why Zero worked. If that is true, we could probably use M Cannon against him. Unless, you know, because of the time stop. Unless it's because of time stop, you know. Meaning, like, it hits him three times. So let's go and double check. Uh... Oh, this works well. We can use Invis to get past the first few. It's fine, I don't care. Alright. Get 
past the first few enemies and then get fast gauge going. Ah, oh, dang it. I wasted that. don't need to use Invis over here. I need to use it on the, the grass variant. Okay. Gonna want that. Sure. I think we got it. It takes four M cannons. Well, yeah, one to break it and then three more to kill. Oh, we got a life aura three. <laughs> I was trying to get a life aura two. Okay, well, looks like I got two of those. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back through again and basically do that again. But I wait. I used up so much. I used up so much of my M cannons. Slasher. Okay. Well, don't need that. Hmm. Do I want to go back? It has to be 100 damage. What if I just take the L, start at the beginning? I don't have enough of that anymore. That's too weak. None of this works. None of this works. I could use zero. That, that will work. I might have to leave and come back. Other than Life Aura, I think everything else has to be from Navi's. Proto Man, Sword Man, Pharaoh Man. So, there will be, I think there'll be one more I'm missing anyway. this. I can use this on those guys. Yeah, okay, what are you? That's left or one. Which is not what I need, but you know, it's something. That's life or two. Let's check. I think that's life or two. There it is. 80, 100, 150. All right. 
Everything else is Navi chips. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Let's make a save. I'm assuming I have all the MP. And I know I have every all the HP. Okay. Net bow simulator. How do I want to do this? I could just rely on M cannons. I wonder if I should try to go for the zeros. Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to have more than two turns. So if I'm going for program advance, I have to set up for it. Now let's just start with M cannon and see how that goes. So first, I need to try Swordman again. Okay. And cannons. So, ooh, in this. Alright, I did not get hit once thanks to Invis. That worked out. I guess the game is expecting me to use it, use in this. Yeah, okay. We got that done. Let's go with... Yep, that's done. All right, we need Shadow Man, Pharaoh Man, and Proto Man. Let's start with Shadow Man, I guess. Honestly, if we could just get Invis, we'd probably be okay. <laughs> okay. We got zero. That's helpful. Start with that. Uh, okay, I got hit once. Oh, that was the wrong timing. Okay. I ran out of MP. Okay. You know what? That wasn't that wasn't that bad. I could deal with this. I could beat Shadow Man. Just stay on the corner. Then he'll throw Shuriken. And then I can hit him with the then I can hit him with the M cannon. That's not bad. I could I could deal with that. I just gotta remember to slide first before going for the attack. Unless he does that. Yeah, I got hit too many times. Yeah, I was gonna say, just hang out in the corner, but then if he decides, nah, I'm gonna just hit you with my sword over there. I forgot to grab the chip, but that's most likely Muramasa. Uh, again. Honestly, I think Proto Man is going to be very tough without Invis. Okay, let's try. 
try this again. Still no invis. You know, I could probably get away with putting invis on my shortcut and just work with whatever I get. Okay. I'm gonna try that again, but I think I have a better idea of how to do this. And also, I think putting in this on the shortcut will be better. better. Alright, where is it? Because I could use any other chip, chip to hurt it. Doesn't matter what I get. As long as I make sure I have in this. <laughs> Alright. What do we got? Of course I get the shield. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna have to go with that. I wasted it. Okay. I wasted my invis. I could double check, but I don't think I got it. I wasted in this too many times. Yes, perfect. And that hit me twice. That was the perfect starting loadout. That should have gotten me his uh, chip. That should have gotten me it. Good. Alright. Now to go after... I guess we're going after Pharaoh, man. Thousand HP. Ugh. Really good starting loadout. Actually, we'll do we'll do this. I only hit him once, but it was a hundred damage. Oh, I got. annoying at all. 
I'm gonna double check. Let's see if I got the chip. I doubt I got it. However, I think I need to save my MP for later in the fight. I think what I need to do is Mega Buster him for a while. And then once he gets... Once he starts summoning, like, other things like rats, that's when I would use my stuff. This is actually not a good loadout. Let's Mega Buster. That timing. I managed to hit him. That was not part of the plan. Yeah, that didn't work out. I think I need just a, a better starting loadout. Mm. He has so much HP. Just a lot of HP. Why couldn't he have 700 or 800 like Proto Man? He has to have a thousand. That's a little ridiculous. <laughs> I wonder if Life Aura 3 would work on him. Ugh, this isn't. This isn't, this isn't that good. I lucked out there. He didn't do anything crazy. He did not do anything that crazy. Alright. Now, we got Proto Man. Last one. Honestly, I don't know how to dodge him. Not without Invis. So, I'm basically have to, gonna have to rely on something like this. Set up Invis every once in a while. Wasted a little bit of my stuff. See, like, the fact that he teleports is dead. I might just take the hell. Yeah, I'm gonna take the hell. I need a slightly better starting chip for that. What does... Wait, how much money do I have? You know what? Let's buy... MP charge. What does that do? It's just a faster regen. I might need that, actually. 
I bet you could beat him without items, but I might need to have that. Because that was my problem at the end. I don't know how to efficiently dodge Proto Man. Okay. Ugh. Pro Man ship. I probably just. I don't know if I need to use MP or charge or not, but I just want. I'm just like, no, I want this. Get it done. We got an email. Have you heard of a secret room that's hidden in Den Area 3? They say that there's an unbelievable, unbelievably powerful Navi hiding there. But according to the rumors, the entrance is closed up tight. Only qualified Navi could get inside. Sounds suspicious. Wonder what that means. However, one thing I need to do. I need to grab Proto Man. I'm going to replace it with... Honestly, I don't really like Fireman. I don't even really care for Needleman too much either. Okay, so I also need to grab Cuss Sword and Bar Sword. Okay. Cuss Sword, and we'll replace it with. I guess we'll go with Trevon one and Bar Sword. I don't even know how I got that. Uh, shockwave, sure. One program advance. We gotta check the secret area. And then we could go to the final boss. Den area three. Actually, we'll be faster to go through mail's PC. Oh, Roll's just hanging out here. Uh, sure. This is Dan Area 3. You can explore places you already been with the cubes. Double jumps. Oh, was she just always there and I just never been down here after saving her? <laughs> okay, so there is a secret area in Dan Area 3. Where is it? I'm guessing it's back at the fireman section. That is my guess. It doesn't seem to be like up there or something. In area three. You might need double jump for all I know. It says it's locked up though. Makes me think there was like a door or something. You know what? 
put double jump back on the shortcut. I have a feeling I'm gonna need it. This was the fireman section, wasn't it? Oh, wait. What? Slasher. Oh, okay. Security respond is responding to the navi chips we have. Oh, okay. Here we go. We found it. Let's just go in. I mean, let's be honest, we can't have a Battle Network game without base in here. Little boy, how did you get in here? W what? The search. If I can if I can if I get any closer, it'll blow me away. This is more than just a navi. Careful, Mega Man. Again, proving that the post game of Battle Network 1 is non-canon. You scum. You defeated Zero. Now that's interesting. How powerful you are. Or, no, how powerful are you, worms? He's attacking. And of course, he's got to have a life aura, which I believe is, what, 150 damage? Um, nope. I'm assuming it's 150. Actually, can any attack even go up to 150 without a program advance? And even then, like, I would need, like, the spreader program advance. Um... I guess we'll go for this, I guess. That does nothing. supposed to do hmm. I just need to figure out how to break his shield first that's the main thing You know what, I could just waste the my uh, double jumps, because I'm not going to need those. Yep, a Proto Man. I need Slasher. Um. I hope he has a barrier of 150 or one, 100 because I don't have a way to break it and he, unlike Battle Network 1 he doesn't drop his barrier um I don't really have a way to get through it can I uh I can test out and see if Tree Bomb 2 makes it past Other, that's really all I got. And you know what? Let's let the bar fill up. That way, if things go south, I can just open the custom bar and hope for a program advance, I guess. Alright. Let's go fight base again. See if I can even get past his stupid shield. Oh, 
Oh. It's an elemental shield. Okay, if it's an elemental shield... Let's waste some of my stuff. It goes right back up as soon as you get rid of it. However, that might be enough of an opportunity to get a program advance. I have two in my folder. So, uh, I'm wasting fast gauges right now. Okay. Oh, I already used up a lot of my stuff, didn't I? Wait a minute. Oh, dang it. Okay. Apparently I was running out of chips for some reason. I guess when you die, you kind of just permanently lose those chips until you leave the area. Okay, I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna leave everything else alone. I have no clue what ship I'm going to need to start off with. I'm going to need to play this carefully. I'm sure I don't necessarily need to have... Uh, I don't know. I'm just kind of mumbling to myself. Right. Not only will I, I want my MP back, and I also need to load up on what I want. Zero, high guard, nothing. I gotta be able to break his shield. Which I might need elemental stuff. I don't know if I should get rid of these or just cycle them through. I'm probably just going to be cycling through what I might need. So I first need to figure out what base's first aura is going to be. And I can go from there. Tree bomb. Okay, so we have grass. We have fire. We have water. We need electricity. And one program advance. So right now I'm just going to try to cycle through and make sure my starting my starting set is kind of where I would want what I would want 
I don't know if Double Hero is going to be better than Zero's program Vance. Okay. We have Proto Man, Cuss Sword, and Bar Sword. So I could set that up. Fire, grass, fire, water, and grass. I want to cycle these out. I don't need to get rid of them. I don't think that's necessary. But I do need to cycle out my starting ones. I need to know what starting element he's going to go with. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I don't know how this fight works. Well, great. We got two program advances ready to go. Actually, wait. Needle Man. We can cycle out Needle Man. I don't need that at the moment. Well, we have both program advances ready. So that's something. A lot of prep work beforehand, you know. I don't even know if this is all necessary. No man again. I could go in and just hope that... Hope it's an electric one. In this case. And if not... You know what? We'll go in with this. I'm gonna wait for the bar to fill up. It has to be an electric barrier. Nope, it's water. So, of course, my my biggest problem right now. I don't have. Okay, hopefully that will break it. If that's the kit, let's go with Z Saber. Oh no! What the? Zero count. It's a counter? It's a counter? I didn't know that. I didn't know it was a counter move. Well, let's just cycle out a few things. Last fast gauge at the moment. I didn't know it was a counter move. I think it is a barrier of a hundred. If that's the case, let's just get rid of... Let's get rid of that. If we fail this time, we're definitely going to want to go and restock on fast gauges. I don't know how I'm supposed to beat him. Okay. Okay, they have elemental ones. I already used up the zero chips, and I used up... No, I still have Needle Man. I used up my... Actually, I didn't use anything else up. No, never mind. There's Needle Man. 
Okay, there's an electric. So electric, grass, fire, water. Let's get double. Let's try to get double hero ready. Ugh. Okay. Isn't this fun? Okay, I have double hero. Yeah, that's ready to go. Let's grab... I can break a... I, can, I think I could break his aura with that, unless it's like... Yeah. Okay. No, no, no. You're fine. You're fine, Molly. Nope. Stop. Nope. Nope. No. 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 You're fine. Let's try it. So if it's a hundred damage, I should be able to break it. Okay, it's a hundred damage. Auto man. And oh, oh no. Let's just grab this. Uh, excuse me. It looked like it did no damage. Seriously, it looked like it did nothing. I think this is one of those ones where you we're supposed to grind for better chips. Ones that can break the aura. I need to re uh, rebalance my folder then. So anything that does at least a hundred damage. That's what I'm looking for. Tree Bomb 3s. I don't have many of that, but we'll throw it in. He's hundreds. He's too high up, and I don't... I have a feeling I need to be standing still for that to work. So these could work, but I'm... Oh no, I could be in the air and use these. All right, we can throw some of these in. We'll throw in fire sword. Oh, I, yeah, there's not many of these. 80, 70. Maybe. That's a counter. He's in the air. No. Can't do that in the air. Cannonball? Hammer? Well, maybe. I might have to throw them in. Not strong enough. No plug. Okay, satellite three. I'll break his guard. I'm not, I'm not throwing that in. Let's see. Eight, of course it's 80 damage. I only have one of those. That's not good enough. Usually Anubis can, like, get past auras. We can test that out. We can see if it does less than 150 damage. Okay, so let's see. Okay, Z Saber's not gonna work. 
Really? Color Man does 100 damage. Okay. Okay, I can get rid of Cold Punch. So, might as well throw in some of my one-use ones, or like very low ones, like Cannonballs and Hammers. Neither of these. I don't think I'm going to want Double Hero. There was an... There was something else I was looking at. Um, I guess I could throw that in. I don't know how to use Bar Sword in this game. This is just kind of here. Can I swap it out with something else? Muramasa. That will just get stronger as I get weaker. Let's go to global and see if I can get, like, two fast gauges through this way. Because I have, like, no money. I could buy more, but, you know, I would have to go through... Oh, I want to test this out. Oh, that's fantastic. I wonder how long it lasts. There has to be a time limit. Yeah, it only lasts a certain amount of time. It's gone now. I mean, if base's ore can last the entire time until you break it, why can't mine? I would want at least one more. So let's try to grab another one. So wait, uh, I should have every program advance. Yeah, there we go. Is to go. I don't really want to go grinding to fill up my chips. You know what? I should test this out on its own. Okay, that works. It is a single hit though. So I definitely want to break it with something else. But it is a strong chip. So it does seem like Pro Man will jump in the air to go after base. So that's not a problem. Again, the problem is it's a single hit, so I would want more. I would want more Proto Man chips. I don't really want to grind that out right now. I could beat base without it, that'd be great. And again, it has to deal a hundred damage at the very least to break the aura. His aura is elemental, but he changes it. Come on. Zenny, not what I need. There's another fast gauge. Okay.
There's a good chance Muramasa might be what I needed. Might be what I need. Save. And you know what? I have a feeling Life Aura is going to have the same problem, or Life Virus is going to have the same issue. Life Virus normally has the aura, but normally in Battle Network 1, the shield will go down. All I need is that. Honestly, starting with uh, Muramasa is probably not the worst thing that can happen. base was just right next to Fireman the entire time. Some chips. Fast gauge. Right. Oh, I have dash in here still? Ah, I don't want. Cycle that out. Uh, I'm not going to use that. I don't want to use up my MP. I want to refill. And I'm not going to use my MP charge. Not for that. Okay. Um, let's see. That works. Uh, we can start with Invis. We have this to break his first shield. We'll try that. All right. I'm gonna wait for my MP bar to fill up, and that works. Let's go. I wasn't really doing damage. How did you withstand my attack? Now I know why you lost zero loss to you. Interesting. I think I'll actually try this time. It's no good, Lan. He's too powerful. Ah. No, not this time. Huh? Won't be long until Judgment Day. You'll bet. You'll. You'd better be ready. Oh, so was it just hit him a certain amount of times, or? Okay. With that, we got the base chip. That's every chip now. Look. Covers the whole screen with air bursts. Sure. Why not? I guess we'll replace, like, that. Sure. I kind of want some of my normal stuff back. Just some of them. Like bubbler and maybe not heat shot. Maybe with I don't like cannonball. Sure, we'll have that.
every, we got every chip. That is done. Now, let's go, let's go fight in the life virus. Let's just leave it be for right now, and let's use a fast gauge. I'm gonna check the mystery data to see if there is another fast gauge over there. But other than that, I'm gonna move on to the underneath. Charging my Mega Buster. I know there's nothing over here. Full cuss. I mean, I can use that if needed. Fast stage. Good. It's nice to have another one. Right, let's go to. Let's go ahead and go to the Undernet. going towards the life virus. Okay. Let's start with that. And that. Well, I'm getting a lot of life aura one from these guys, that's for sure. Dang it. I thought I was being clever. I just wasted four. Oh well. Let's hope I don't need it. Okay. I either just need to eat the hit or get find another chip to get past him. But I still don't have fast gauge. At least it doesn't seem like Fast Gauge is activated. Does it only work in the room you're in? Huh. I need to look up how that actually works. Here, we can use this. Oh, damn. I could have tried going for another Life Aura. I had to make- I had the M cannon. Alright, let's go. What's this? This is a firewall set up to repulse intruders. But I've never seen one this strong and aggressive before. I bet the professor used the, the power of the life virus to make it. We better smash our way through. This is just a wily castle boss. Or Sigma fight, like seriously. Like, I don't know if I'm actually doing anything. Oh, I destroyed one of the cannons. I'm doing something right. This is just like a classic Mega Man game right now. This is so unlike Battle Network, honestly. <laughs> There we go, got that done. Alright. Alright, 
Let's keep going, Mega Man. Internet 2. I'm getting a powerful response from just up ahead. This area seems safe. Why don't you execute a system recovery here? Will do. Let's see. I don't know what's up ahead. I didn't know Lan had that ability to just do that. But what was the point of the firewall? What is this place? <laughs> Welcome, Mega Man! What? Professor? I can't believe you busted you th your way through my firewall. Not bad. Huh. Wait until you see us dust your life virus. <laughs> you won't even make it as far as the life virus. Yeah? Why not? Look in despair. The life virus has built an army of upgraded navvies. From the data, I had zero collect. Oh, a boss rematch? Okay, fine then. But it was only the first few that actually got affected. It's only the first few fights that got affected by robot, uh, the Zero Virus, right? It's not every fight. So is Needle Man saying rude things to me? Oh, how am I gonna get past this? I still don't know how to get... I still don't know how to get through that. I... I don't know how to get past him. I actually don't know how to get past him. I never actually figured that out. At this point, we are gonna try. Okay, Navi chips work on him. Oh, that hits him twice. I don't know how to get past him, not without Navi chips. That's like the only thing I could think of. Where do I have to start at? Do I have to do the whole thing again? I have to do the whole thing again, don't I? Let's try it again.
Okay, at least it's just that Iceman. I can live with that. Oh, great. Oh, great, color man. All right. Funny how the Mega Buster is now like doing so much damage. This is classic Mega Man. Okay. are too slow. We are going to grab... Get rid of him. Oh, that was the last one. Okay. What's the matter? Is that all you got? No, it can't be. How can you defeat this many upgraded navvies created by me and my life virus? It's unthinkable, absurd, inconceivable. Professor, you don't get it. Navvies get their power by working together with their operators. That makes us stronger. Too strong to lose to imposter navvies. In that case, I'll just have to move forward with my plans even sooner. Come on, Mega Man, we gotta stop the life virus. Under net three. Okay. No recharge, though. Thanks, Lan. You don't have multiples of those? Mega Man, wait! Oh no, I don't have a way to deal with this. We're surrounded! Viruses came out of nowhere! The life virus created them! Can we defeat this many? But there's no time! Yeah. Proto Man, I think you're cheating. Proto Man's on the job. Huh? Proto Man? Guts Man, how'd you get in here? Yeah, and don't forget Guts Man either! Or me! Guts Man in Roll 2! Sorry we're late, Lan. This place wasn't easy to find, but we did it. Are you alright? Hmm. You're having a rough time of it, I see. Pretty sloppy of you, Lan. You did come all this way by yourself, huh? Impressive, as always. What, are they just on, like, the phone call or something? Glide and Number Man aren't even here. What'd you expect? We're your friends, remember? That's right, Lan, stop trying to do everything yourself. Of course, you know, the, we gotta have our obli obligatory power friendship moment. There's no time to chat. Get out of here, Lan. We'll deal with this. Chad, you? Don't get confused. You're the only one who's fought the life virus before. I'm sending you ahead. So it's only logical. Now go. Be careful, Lan. I will. Wait, Mega, I'll heal you before you go. Thank you. All right, let's go, Mega Man. This is the last fight. Is it another teleporter? Yep. I'm gonna wait for the bar to fill up. And... It's time for the life virus. 
目してみよう。これがドリームウイルス R だ。Life virus R. So you're here at last, Mega Man, and Len Hikari too. Fools, do you think you can interfere with my grand experiment? Experiment? What's that's what you call this? Precisely. What is it if not a grand experiment? I'll reset this internet centric world your grandfather created. Did we even knew that? Nah, I think we did. And reconstruct the robot civilization Dr. Wily dreamed of. And then we shall all see which theory is superior Dr. Wily's or Dr. Hikari's. And the teeming billions shall see it too. Dr. Wily's long cherished dream is my dream as well. So, how does that justify firing missiles at innocent people? You're just another extremist, Professor, just like Dr. Wily. Huh, just shut up already. I'm gonna delete you. Then I'm gonna delete this world. <laughs> Time to introduce you to my life virus upgraded with Zero's data. Now, let's see the, that look and of despair on your face. We can't afford to lose this one. Alright. Could try my own life aura, but I need to break his own. I need to break the shield. So... Probably this. Okay, wait, hold on. MP charge. We got a xenomorph with with a disco ball. You know, that's that's what you expect, right? Should have grabbed like, full health. Yeah, this is more classic Mega Man than it is Battle Network. <laughs> I wasn't expecting a xenomorph holding a, go uh, a disco ball. How could this be? My glorious, the World 3's glorious life virus. The life virus that was going to make the world burn, deleted by a brat. But don't think this ends here. Or this ends it. All you did was destroy one of the programs I created. It does take time and money to generate a life virus. But that doesn't mean it's impossible. I'll make a stronger one next time. What should we do? <laughs> Is that despair I see? You're nothing but maggots. What? Who? Who are you? Get out of my house! Huh? So you're the professor. By the authority of the center, I am placing you under- WE HAVE THE POLICE ACTUALLY DOING SOMETHING! <laughs> Who- we had to have a spin-off game to get the police to actually do something. Great. I mean, we did have to delete the virus ourselves, but, you know. Your computers will be appropriated as evidence. What? You're arresting me? N no! Center authorities found the professor's location in the real world. Looks like it. I don't get it. How did you find me? How did you get past all the layers of camouflage I had hiding where I was connecting from? Even the mother computer itself would need a whole month to analyze them. There was no way to detect me from the outside. Oh no, I think you figured it out. Zero! I've been reborn as a Navi, so I can't generate new viruses anymore. But I can still use viruses that already exist. 
That's impossible. So you used the viruses to get into my computer. You got it. And you never realized it either. Your computer had been infected with this zero virus for a long time. And as you know, the zero virus has as my acts as my eyes and ears. With the life virus deleted, finding you was a piece of cake. It was that quick? Uh, but... What is it you say in a situation like this? Oh, yes. Is that despair I see? Ah, uh, you! You virus! Come on now, no more talking. Ah! <laughs> Zero, your virus capabilities sure came in handy today. Dad! Nice work, Lan, Mega Man. We got him, Dad. It's finally over. Thanks, Zero. Now, what are you gonna do? I think... I think I'd like to explore this huge cyber world. Dr. Hikari has given his permission. I'll be monitored, of course. That's great. I'm happy for you. Welcome to our cyber world. I hope you enjoy it. So we're all pals now. Pals? Friends? How strange. But I think I can get used to it. Goodbye. Goodbye, my friends. I'll see you. The threat of the life virus have, that had attacked the world was gone. The global and global catastrophe was avoided. The vaccine spread to all of the infected navvies, and cy cyber world was reinvigorated. That professor is apparently cooling his heels in prison. As for oh, as for me and Mega Man, that was land. <laughs> I didn't know. As for me and Mega Man, there we go. Look at all the figurines I got! And I see a base one. There's no life virus. I'm surprised he doesn't have a life virus figurine. I guess... I was gonna say he doesn't collect viruses, but no, he has zero. Ah, you seem bored, Land. You keep yawning. I'm enjoying the boredom. The world is finally at peace again! So why not? Ah, yes. This is the life. When things are peaceful, you always start loafing off. What's this, a comic? <laughs> this magazine has a special pet column written by my dad. Let's see here. Armor is behind the times. From now on, fighting styles themselves must change to match each situation. Or we will not be able to defeat new types of viruses. Not true. Okay, fine, but isn't it time you start studying for your tests tomorrow? Was that article supposed to be about, uh, like, hinting, like, style changes? I don't even know if that lines up correctly. Sure are easy going. All right, time to hit the books. Time for dessert first. Mom, is dessert ready yet? Huh? That's strange. What's wrong? The oven just won't heat it itself up for eat for some reason. How am I gonna bake the cake? Darn. Mega Man's a dessert emergency. Quick, to the oven cyber world. All right, but afterwards you better study, Lan. <laughs> I know. Let's go, Mega Man. There we go. That should be it. So that was Network Transmission. I'm pretty sure I 100%ed the whole thing. I'm assuming I got all the upgrades. The only one questionable one was the Megabytes, but I think I got it all. Uh, honestly, going back into this after not playing this for like 10 years, I thought I was going to be more annoyed by it than what I really was. I ended up enjoying this more than I thought I would. I think I just got more used to classic Mega Man over the years. Now, if you were a Battle Network fan expecting a Battle Network game, I do think you would be upset that this isn't Battle Network. You know, I think that's I think that was ultimately my biggest issue because I wanted a Battle Network game, not 2D classic Mega Man. Now, as its own thing, it does need a few tweaks. I do think the chip system needs to be more of a cooldown system. Like, if you ever played uh, Xenoblade Chronicles, how each skill like has its own cooldown time, I think the chips need to be treated more like that. Instead of, eat, instead of having a cooldown in total. Mega Man needs a little bit more uh, invincibility frames. And I think there was just like a couple more issues that I wish this had uh, fixed. 
But I do think they could try something like this again. They just never will. And I'm not gonna help for one. But no, it's fine. I had a lot more fun with it than I thought I did. Uh... But the next game, hmm. I wasn't too sure on what game to go with next. But I think we'll just go with Battle Network 4. Kind of in that Battle Network mood and, you know, this didn't scratch that itch. So, I think we'll go with Battle Network 4 and get that going uh, tomorrow. Mr. Dark, sir, I'm back. The professor was a great source of funding, but he's finished now. Yes, sir. Oh, well, no matter. I've already found our ne next sponsor. Next sponsor? Yes, it's a neck crime organization that has been growing lately. They call themselves Gospel. The job is... As you command, sir. Ah, uh, setting up Battle Network 2, I guess. Ah, uh, well. We already went through that. Kind of doing like a Hideo Kojima right there with, <laughs> with the ending credits. Except it's not a shock because this came out after Battle Network 2. I don't know what the point of some of this was. Anyway, uh, we're going to leave it here. Tomorrow we're going to start Battle Network 4. I think that's what we're going to do. Unless I change my mind and play something else. But I think we're going to do Battle Network 4. Uh, thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore... They're on YouTube at scottbot 64 Stream Archives. This dog needs a walk. I know. It's a good it's good weather right now. I think we'll get you a walk. Alright. Have a good day. Later.